morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to the New Moon Holy Fire Manifestation. Welcome, everyone. Today we have we have with us we have Wendy, we have Sandy, we have Mary, we have Kim, we have Jaguar, we have Harris. Welcome, Harris. We have Dan, we have Alex, we have Adriana, and in the room we have myself, Will Mitchell. We have Brian Lucasi. Lucasi, that's what. We have Mary, we have Lisa, and we have Jim. So we'll scan. We'll scan the room to show everybody said hello. Hello. So my name is Will Mitchell. I'm a Reiki master teacher in Rochester, New York, and I teach Sui Holy Fire Reiki. Today we have awesome, super special event. It got even bigger since it was created. Um, today we have three presenters presenting three different perspectives using three different energies to create the most awesome atmosphere to create whatever you wish. So at this point I would like everyone to get supplies, get some paper if they need to. Uh, you're going to have homework here, so you need pencil and paper, or you need uh, notepad or something online to write what's happening. And we'll give everyone a moment here. Okay, so everyone. Let's take a moment and take a couple of deep breaths. Let everyone greet Mother Earth, Pachamama, and let's ground. Imagine growing roots deep into Mother Earth, deep into Gaia, and, and having Gaia send energy back up to you. Breathe it into your entire being. Feel the energy. Today is a special new moon. Today is a new moon in Gemini. It's a it's a special new moon that is the super parent moon who wants it all and does it all. This is a moon that has both a divine feminine and a design, divine masculine energies where each one is just as strong as the other. We have creation energies of the nurturing, life-giving divine mother. We also have the releasing energies of the recycling divine father. We have the sacred marriage of the god and the goddess. It is the perfect synchronicity of energies to start anything new, to bring those energies into your life, to create begin whatever one truly desires. So let's take a moment and breathe in those new moon energies. Have it fill you up. Have it permeate in every cell of your body. Have it radiate from you. Breathing in breathing out. Breathing in, relaxing. Breathe out, releasing. Now the holy fire the holy fire is within each one of us. It is that divine spark inside of you. It's the inspiration. It is your connection to all that is. It's the connection to the oversoul. It's the connection to creativity. 
your connection to your highest desire, to your highest level of excitement. It's your confirmation that you're following your highest level of excitement. Holy Fire Reiki is an evolution in Reiki. It's fairly recent and it's all that the Holy Fire is and focused in on Reiki. It is unconditional love. It is your safe place. It is a love for you that <laughs> is beyond beyond all knowing. Uh, my first experience with the Holy Fire, it felt like home to me. It was so profound. So with the Holy Fire, we teach a concept of three heavens. So the first heaven is our earth, our 3D reality. It's what we touch, what we feel. It's the earth, it's the planets, it's the air we breathe, it's the stars. And the second heaven is everything non-physical that's duality-based, that's ego-based, whether it's benevolent or malevolent. And the third heaven is beyond ego. It is all the concepts of God, like unconditional love, total peace, calmness. And today, you and the Holy Fire will ensure a safe place for unlimited creative potential. We will unlock that. We will utilize that. We will utilize all three energies with three different perspectives and three different experiences. Do we have any questions? Okay. So I would like to ask everyone to uh, mute their microphones to help reduce feedback. And at this point, I will turn it over to Brian so that he may talk about the law of attraction and he will lead us in our first experience. Brian. Good morning, everyone. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you for participating. Jump into that seat. It is such an honor to be able to share this, this sacred day on our planet, share the law of attraction, which is always taking place within, through, and around us. Things about the law of attraction is utilizing our breath. We started with a nice deep breath. We are able to connect the divine feminine of Mother Gaia below us and our lower three chakras, our bottom three. And with those bottom three, they also, that's what we consider our lower self. And the law of attraction combines that energy of that breath coming in pulling that energy into our heart center and utilizing that heart center as a channel to go down to the earth's heart center as well as bringing in the divine masculine that is of the new moon the reason we are gathering here so the law of attraction on a day like the new moon really becomes this beautiful synchronicity of how do we integrate this energy how do we use this energy it's exactly what we're manifesting. It's the reason we've gathered today, to bring in the divine masculine with the divine feminine. And that energy comes in through life force energy. It comes in through our breath. It comes in through the thought forms we create from that breath, that energy, that life that we have. And with this integration of these masculine and feminine, not gender-based, but frequency-based. Right now, let's all take a nice deep breath it does not matter whether it's in through the nose or out through the mouth, but I always remind myself to make sure my feet are balanced and grounded, knowing that it's not air, but it is life force energy, that it is this sacred time with the new moon where this darkness brings forth an opportunity, an opportunity to connect, but most importantly, an opportunity to experience the holy fire manifestation. Being able to manifest 
why you are on earth at this time. The opportunity of life, the opportunity of breathing, the opportunity of creating. So the law of attraction supports us 24-7. And one of the best ways to synchronize with the law of attraction is through breathing. Breathing in the divine feminine, breathing it up through our feet, as Will mentioned, growing those roots, being grounded on the planet that we are on at this time, is a sacred and honored to bring in intention and focus with that breath, enhances the law of attraction. And with that law of attraction going on, it is deeper than our breath. It's, it's an energy source that stems from the energy that we are referencing the chakra systems of our lower self, our bottom three dimensions, and our higher self. We connect that through our voice. And this brings us to our next stage of what we're focusing on, the presence of I am. I am is the law of attraction. Speaking I am in a confident, profound way combines your higher self, your crown chakra, your third eye chakra, your throat chakra. In combination with the lower three, bringing from the heart center, the I am commands the universe to be what we came here to be. The I am is healing energy. The I am brings in wellness. The I am brings in this energy of the law of attraction. It stems from the vibrational frequency that each one of us generate inside. And the reason this physical world can shift before our eyes is through the energy, through the unseen, through the law of attraction, through the thought forms and the thought forms of I am, asking for universal support, stating what you want to receive, stating clearly, stating specifically what is no longer serves you at this time, what is working well for you that requires enhancement or more importantly, something to explore, a new possibility. Because with a new moon and this law of attraction, a new is strongly possible for new beginnings. Significant truth moments for why we are alive right now, for the connection that we brought today, to synchronize up on this special moment. So right now, with that said, let's take another three grounding breaths. Fill up those lungs with that life force. Welcome the energy that you are, for we are beginning to transition into our I am's. As we gather, we're seeking each other out. We are seeking to envision the results of what we want to be. And through the, using the law of attraction, it stems from the final outcomes. So the I am's can be basic. The I am's can be general. The I am's can be specific. They could be honed into you. So as I share some of the I am's, you can repeat these. You can utilize these at any point in time. For the law of attraction is always listening. And again, the I am commands the wonder that we are as humans. That we could say something, think something, start acting on something and watching the physical world change about because of the energy that we are generating on this wonderful new moon. I am open to the universe. I am the new moon energy. I am here. You are here. We are here. I am respecting myself. I am abundance. I breathe in this I am, for I am this I am. We are this we are. We are this because we state this. We are this because we breathe this energy within, through, and around our being. And again, through that breath, it is one of the ways we integrate that I am. And another beautiful way is to have something with you and one of the things is water the water allows the integration of the energy we're breathing in the life force of this I am of this command for the law of attraction of bringing it in and this is the first powerful significant action in the integration of these I am's 
starts becoming more grounding, more physical changing and shifting as we integrate water into our system, as well as the consciousness of breath. The I am is here for a plethora of reasons, but the I am is about self-respect. The I am is about commanding a direction in our lives to be grounded on the earth and to create what it is each of us individually resonate with. The I am is meant to be shared. It's a heart-centered frequency. When an individual states, I am this, I am, is a resonation within your heart. It is the combination of our higher selves, of our higher chakras and our lower chakras, bringing them into a unification to branch out this beautiful, glorious rainbow bridge of connecting the higher and lower and commanding it through our voice. Our voice in the physical is the command. It is the pathway. And again, to continuously balance and integrate as we use I am, using your breath with peace and flow and harmony for how you are feeling having water to integrate that. But the I am's become a master manifester. It is a sacred, special tool. And the I am used on this new moon, in conjunction with this wonderful holy fire manifestation, as you will see, you will be writing I am's. The only limitation to the I am is the limitation we each individually place. So be limitless today. Be in your power. Breathe in through your heart center. Use that divine masculine and that divine feminine energy that is in abundance today. Because we are abundance. We are abundance together. We are unified. We are together. And we are utilizing this beautiful, sacred time to share, to connect. For this is what we are. We are the new moon. We are making it happen, and we are this. We are. I am so grateful to be able to share a little bit about the law of attraction and the power of I am. And as we go through not only this ceremony, but as you continue, practice the I am's. The I am mantra, any time feeling any type of doubt, the opposite of I am, the universal laws, the law of attraction, is extremely responsible and responsive to every thought form. So bringing in your power, bringing in your breath, bringing in your balance, bringing in the I am here, I am respecting myself, I am power, I am strength, I am wellness, I am sharing, I am connected to myself. And with that said, I'm going to transfer this back over to will and as you're going through any time always ground yourself with a breath always feeling balanced for this is a truly powerful day namaste thank you brian that was awesome So now, for those of you who are unfamiliar, the law of attraction is one of the basic laws of the universe. What you give out to the universe is what you get back. What you think is what happens. What you have in your heart is who you are. So why not use that to your advantage? Keep in your heart all the awesomeness that you want to bring into your life. So here is one of the homework sections. So right now we need to take out a piece of paper or write online exactly what you wish to create today. Take a few moments. Use as much detail as you want, but be generic enough to not limit how the universe provides your desires. 
You have to jump back? Thank you. Oh, this is awesome. It does not matter what you wish to create. It could be a new job. It could be your next meal. It could be five boyfriends. It could be three girlfriends. <laughs> it does not matter. It could be all of the above. more money. Could be a better garden. Could be a shorter commute. Could be an awesome relationship with your mother. Your father your sister, your brother, your daughter, your son, anyone. Could be a better relationship with yourself. If you're speedy and you're done, take out a second sheet of paper and start writing down affirmations. Could be any affirmation. Could be I am abundance. Could be I love creating new in my life. I am a new career. I am the person I wish to have a relationship with. 
I am the awesomeness I am attracting to my life. I am a joyous being that creates abundance in my life. peace. I am harmony. I am beautiful. I love creating beauty in this world. I am harnessing the infinite potential and manifesting it into reality. If you are done with your microphones muted, declare to the universe verbally, out loud, what you wish to create. The universe has seen you write it down. The universe participated in writing it down. The universe wants to hear. Speak some of your affirmations out loud. So that you hear it. So that you reinforce it. So that the universe hears it. So that the universe reinforces it. Feel the awesomeness of this now. Be the awesomeness of this now. Fill up this now with your entire being. And say, I exist. I am. It's enough to just be. Gratitude to all. Let's take a couple of deep breaths. Keep those pieces of paper handy. We will, we will be referring back to them, and you will have more homework.
Now I invite in all of our guides, our guardian angels, all the angels, and all the archangels, including Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Uriel, Ariel, Joviel, Haniel, Hamuel, Zephiel, Zedekiel, and Metatron, to name a few. Call in all entities that wish to participate in this co-creative event. Everyone please express gratitude. everyone to go through the divine, through the white light, and through the holy fire. And we return all energies that are not useful. I also invite in all of our loved ones and all entities wish to witness our declarations today, I wish to watch this ceremony. To help celebrate with us our creations. And I ask everyone to go through the white light and through the holy fire. and we return all energies that are not useful and are no longer serving us. Now I would like to lead you on a two-minute visualization and then the Holy Fire will take over and lead each of you on an experience that's just for you, that's safe for you, that's creative for you. Whatever you need in this now. Imagine yourself on a hilltop. are clear. You see the new moon above and the stars are shining brightly. You are comfortable. You are peaceful. You feel safe. You sit down and you notice a pond. All the stars are reflecting off the surface. There is one light in particular that is glittering and shimmering. This is no ordinary light. It comes from the third heaven. this light to enter your soul. Allow this light to guide you.
When you are ready, slowly come back. Start to move. Start to wiggle. Roll your shoulders. When you're ready, whenever you're ready, open your eyes. Take a deep breath. Reestablish your connection on earth. Take some deep breaths. you are ready, take out your notebook or email or whatever it is, write about your experience. Maybe you want to augment your creation on your first page. Maybe you want to add to some of your affirmations. It does not matter. This is for you. Greetings, Alex. Would you mind muting your microphone, please?
Kim, are you ready? was muted. My apologies. Yes, I am ready. Welcome, Kim. I will mute myself and turn it over to you. We have been wonderfully and magically drawn to a place of self-creation and self-attraction and self-fulfillment. I ask you, as you observe the moon from the third heaven, the reflection of the stars, in the water, the water is pure. You are drawn to the water. As you walk and you feel the experience of grass, of a gentle covering under your uncovered feet, you move and you welcome and you appreciate the earth as you approach the great waters and you wish to then cusp some water in your hands and please take a sip, watch it as it falls from your hand and scoop another drink for amalgamation, drink for unity. I ask you once more, please look to the brilliant moon. And as you do in this special place you have created in your I am all a glimpse a sensation it has an appearance it has a name it is passion it is the fire that ignites with brilliance, with your greatness, with all the wonderment that you effortlessly attract. You move towards a small flame. There is a boundless pile of red gum it burns slowly and creates embers embers that will be everlasting I ask you please Flame your fire. Please feed your fire. Please place wood around your flame. Please understand that you build your passion to build your fire. You also require the elements of air. 
So I ask you to introduce a windmill, a small windmill that will forever feed your fire. It will air your spirit. It will lighten you. And amongst the air is the stars. And please embrace all that you have laid out before you. Please claim it to be your own, to be your place to attract the wonderment, the At all times, this is available to you. I ask you, be mindful, remember, and retreat slowly with the love of Earth emanating through your lower chakras to a place where you may sit and be wondered and be amazed by the love and the gift that is Gaia and all that is new beginnings. Please sit with this for one moment. And when you're ready, open your eyes and maintain your movements. Thank you, Amatak. Thank you, Kim. You're welcome. Thank you. Again, let's take a moment to write down, is there anything new? Is there anything new you want to change in what you've created? Are there new affirmations you want to write down? And that's the wonder of writing it down, that everything can be modified as we go throughout the day, as we get inspired. As we gather at this special time for the new moon, you know, underneath the UTC of cosmic alignment, truthfully, the new moon energies are upon the planet for 48 hours based upon, depending on the location, but they are available. And this is specifically about harnessing and aligning with that frequency and these wonderful intentions. But as we go throughout our day, 
we're all inspired. We're all triggered by our environment, what we see, or more importantly, what we feel. And our feelings right now are generating certain aspects of what we want to write down. And it's always modifiable. It's always adjustable. It's always to the frequency of the energy that we are. And recognizing inspiration, having a pen with you, having a paper, making changes. Life is dynamic. Life is change. And utilizing these opportunities to write things down is always a great thing. Stating with your voice is powerful. Creating it in the physical of putting pen to paper, pencil to paper, keyboard to the digital format, voice recording. It's all a great way to emphasize using more tools. Pen and paper is a great way to manifest. And as you go through your manifestations, continually modify them. Continually ask for support. Continually sync up with those that are doing similar things that you want to be. For that is what the universe is beckoning from the energy that we are creating. It's bringing in that reflection. It's bringing in that, that yin and yang, the masculine and feminine, the, the, the harmony and the synchronicity of the balance. And for with that said, we all have the opportunity to continually reflect upon what we've written down and seeing how that has physically come about. Because today's date, June 16th, 2015, six months from now, on the full moon in December, we can look back to today, to what's happening right in the now moment, and see the I am's that you wrote down, see the affirmations that you wrote down, the information that came in from the channeling, the information that came in from any aspect of today. They are going to be emphasized and much clearer in our physical 3D reality as we approach December's full moon. So that might be something to look forward to and realize the seed planting of the ideas that you write down, the ideas that you record right now, are so significant on an energy aspect that a lot of times in the physical I've felt personally, well, it's not a big deal to write something down. But when universal laws are in play, like the law of attraction, it becomes this unmeasurable force for six months from now tomorrow, later today, the inspiration happens all during that time. And that is the time for actions and that is the time to continuously mold, harness these powers of physically writing them down. So well said. If you don't feel inspiration right now through the things, it's coming throughout the day. The energy builds as a snowball effect and continuously grows. The more you tune in to being open. Well said. Well said. And so it is. So one last thing I'd ask you to do is find yourself a token. Matters not what it is. Could be a penny. Could be a business card. It could be a stone. Put it on your nightstand. Every time you see it in the morning, every time you see it in the evening, give gratitude. This is a reminder of what you are manifesting, to give gratitude to your creations, to give gratitude to what you wish to draw into your life. It is already in your life. We just need to grasp it. It's as simple as that. as simple as that. Now I ask if anyone would like to unmute and it's time for blessings and gratitude. So if anyone would like to share, now would be an awesome time. Matters not what language you use. Matters, it does not matter at all. Gratitude. Is gratitude. Blessings are blessings. May I say something, please? Absolutely. In English. <laughs> <laughs> personally, personally, from my own experience, that was a very touching uh, process, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, Brian, you're wonderful. 
Well, so are you. <laughs> yeah, it was very well done, and I'm very proud to have been a part of it. I can feel the magic, and it is going to be an amazing new beginning. And I thank you so much, and bless you. Bless. Thank you. Thank you all. Well, yes, Will, um, I would like to say thank you so much to all of you. Um, I, ex I received a number of beautiful messages, downloads, information, um, things I can't wait to share. So I just want to show my gratitude and appreciation to you, to the fire within you, the fire within all of us. The fact that we're together here in this new moon is just amazing, amazing, epic. Um, Alma Ta couldn't have said it better. It was it, it, this. This is a beautiful new creation, and I'm pleased and proud and honored to be here with you among you. Ashmiatuha, nitu yakasuha, mila wakasu naniana kasutuha. Moshunakia Sulwa Kaso no Mahila Kasiatu ya Kasiha Nila Wasa Sumamayan and Asia to Wakashu ya Katiha Limaniniasa Suakashu Maya Layasa Suakatu Shishian and Akawatuha Nikua Pahi Nayamaha Lasia Tuha Kashu ya Niniasu Maliwa Kashishuan and Niasa Suakatu Hala Katu Yamaha Liatusu Shumaya Kasiha Yakotna Mayana Nasa Suaka Tuha Shomaha Lana Nuaka Shupuha Katiha Yashoka Nima Alia Kasu Suana Niniasa Suaka Tuha Lakoha Mahala Yakasa Yan and Nuaka Shupuha Katu Yakasa Nanitu Alamahi Isuha Shaya Kasina Nakuala Kasuha Shu Siaka Tia Mahi Allaha to Yakamo Hashu to Akasa Tuha Nayaka so Yamahala Nasuakatu Shomia to Suha Shika la Suha Mima Yawashu Nikaliasu Suakatu Yamaha Ikusu Hala Kasu Magaya Nanu Mahi la Situ Shayawaha Alia to Yakushumayala Kasutu Simaha tu hayakasi Ayahala nina nu makushutu Kas nahi tuku Shamilea tu sunia nu mahasu tu kushuha Niku sataha Paliata sina nasutu Kashmiana Aliakahi Narahasi tu shumaka tu lea tu shukuhasuna Mitusuha Maya kasuha shoha Miliasa hi aya hi numa ilukusu Mishu mahi lakisa Nitu akasa tahitsu Makyashuna asuha May you always walk in harmony Hashiatu Microphone's here. Have a seat. <sighs> With great gratitude, we lift you up. As you accept your new fire, as you bring in the new life that is you, as you feed the flame that is your soul, and reduce the hunger of your life. We understand that you are growing, and with this growth comes understanding and wisdom, which we will help you and guide you with. We love you so dearly and deeply, and we see these fires as they burn, and we understand that you would love to feed them with such veracity that you cannot possibly stand it at times because you want to be somewhere else other than in 
the third dimension, but stand close to the fire and it will bring you to the places where you want to be. It will bring you to a higher source of understanding and enlightenment. Let your fires burn as they will and as you feed them and they will know, you will know inside of you when the fire is ready to come out and feed the world as well and to show the world the light within you and to give the message of wisdom and goodness and life to all. Thank you, Jim, for the translation. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you, Jim. I'd like to speak as well. Please. Kashatani kio shutu. Kushutu hanakata. Sayataka hishutu kini. Kushutu kuataha. Nanayata. Kashutuna. Kushuhu kana. Siata hata. Shinaki a shotoho. Kushutu niki. Siata. Kashutu. Kasa. Kanayata. Kiasaha. Kushata hisikia. Nanayati. Siti yanako. Sayashutuku o shutuna. Hasata kaisiki. Kanani. Kushutuha. Naya sata hata hanuku. Siata katiki sikina. Kushana hanara siti hata. Koti sata kashiti. Kanji tisi kushini yaha. Hutu hutu hana kiata. Kushini ha. Hutu kisa rakiata ha. Kushiata naya. Most of all, this is a time of blessing, a time of exchange with the universe, a time of creativity, a time of honesty, a time of confirmation, a time when you may change your directions in many ways but yet stay firmly who you are in your perfect self the love and the light of guidance and the energies that come within this time period are valuable do not let them flee without using them to their fullest ability love that the fact that your energies can be united together to create a greater energy in the universe than has ever been seen and that the love of the father and mother and the universe itself in many ways gathers with you in your seeking of who you truly are in your perfection. Although you've attained a perfection already, there is much more growing to do, and the fire will continue to burn as long as you feed it and show others that it is your example. Namaste. Is there anyone else? So with that, taking a deep breath as we are together breathe in the energies breathe in your energies breathe in the new moon breathe in the holy fire breathe in everyone else's energies This is co-creative abundance.
And we thank all of our visitors, all of our family members who have witnessed with us. We send gratitude and love as we thank them for being with us. We send gratitude and love as we thank our guides, our guardian angels, all the angels and all the archangels. We thank them for being with us and help us co-create today. May gratitude and joy always be with you. Enjoy the holy fire, enjoy the day, enjoy this now, enjoy every now. And so it is. Namaste. Kim, will you please unmute and let everyone know how they can get in touch with you Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Will. Um, yes, I am contactable through Google+. Plus. Um, email address is warmwater, all one word. The number's 218, so warmwater218 at gmail.com. You may contact me there or in Google+. Plus. I go under, or it's Hugo, I go under the name of Kim L. So it's a little bit more difficult to find me there. But I can be found through the Human Colony website, humancolony.org. And my username there is correct. Um, that may be the easiest way for people to contact me at the moment. So Rowie yes. says the multiverse too. Yes. <laughs> yes, I, I have a business page also that we're starting up and it is called the Multiverse page. Uh, that too is in Google Plus that may be found uh, with the username Multiverse. It is quite easy to find that way. Thank you, Rowie. <laughs> yeah, so I can be contacted there also. Yeah. Excellent. And Brian, how may you be contacted? Nice. <laughs> that was a stag antler just hit the... Tibetan singing bowl, that was pretty awesome. Yes. Um, I am the wellness hero. I'm on a lot of different social media networks, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, but wellness hero, wellnesshero at gmail.com is the best way to get in touch with me. But uh, again, I'm so grateful for all the beautiful, wonderful messages here, the gathering that we have. It's taken a while in my physical being to share this with others and this has just been such an amazing beautiful ceremony ritual and I just encourage everyone to reflect and continuously revisit what you wrote down write new things down utilize this wonderful energy but the best way to get in touch with me if you'd like more information and share more wellnesshero at gmail.com thank you namaste excellent and my name is Will Mitchell and you may contact me at reikiwithwill at gmail.com. And this has been an awesome event. I thank all of you for participating. And for all of you watching on YouTube, the energies are just as awesome for you as watching it tomorrow or today. This is a great event I appreciate. And it's been my honor to, to participate with this. Namaste. And so it is. Namaste. Stay.